Welcome back to the RPG Podcast. My name is Mother Earth. Shadowfoot and Feared Zombie is here. Uh, so we're going to be talking right now about Battlefield 3, which is not based off Bad uh, Bad Company 2, which is kind of disappointing, but you can understand why. So, uh, uh, Shadowfoot, take it away. Yeah, the, uh, the new Battlefield takes place in 2013, uh, and it seems like it's going to be in Iraq. And... Uh, now that that uh, they have the uh, Frostbite 2.0, I just they they, I think they have so many uh, opportunities to do to do with it, you know. Exactly. And so many opportunities. I I think one thing that that they're going to have to avoid is what they did with the Taliban and Medal of Honor. That was a big PR like dumbass thing by and by EA. Um, and then they never recovered from that. One because the game sucked, but but it, it also was because of that. So, zombie, what are what are you looking for in Battlefield Three? Um, basically, better sniping, uh, better crouching and proning, and just more, all in all, more destruction. I agree. I think destruction, uh, gun details. And more maps. That that's what I'm looking for. And the sniping, the good thing is you're you're going to be able to hold your breath, go prone, which I think is going to be great. And they need more blood. I, I'm sorry, this is a mature game. Put blood in the game. Mm-hmm. Uh, unlike Call of Duty, which does like for some reason when you get shot, you have dollar bills fly out of you, which I think is gay. But um, I I'm looking for a multiplayer. Uh, yeah, sniping. Gun graphics and great multiplayer, and, and I mean it, it comes down to that. But also, if we're going to have helicopters, let us be able to shoot them down. That's one thing I couldn't stand in Bad Company too. Um, but so so that's a good thing. So I, I think we're all excited about Battlefield Three. So any, any final thoughts? Uh, I just I, I just hope they support it a lot more than they did uh, uh, <laughs> Metal Monarch. Which had no support at all. Yeah. Um. I lost a lot of respect for EA just because of that. They they didn't show any re- any any support for Model of Honor. I didn't see anything for that. I, and especially when people are asking them to fix certain things, they just yeah. They're just not doing it. Well, do you know what happened, Brad? I think I think Metal of Honor was created to help make Battlefield Three because Dice made the multiplayer. Yeah, exactly. It's a test game. Yeah, it was a test game, and and we fell for it. Um, I thought the single player in Medal of Honor was fine. The multiplayer sucked. I, I couldn't stand it. Um, it, it. It just felt like a mix between COD and Battlefield, and it just tasted like crap. Um, Zombie, did, did you play Medal of Honor? Yep. What did you think of it? Storyline for the single player was amazing, but this the multiplayer was I thought was just terrible. Yeah, well, spawn killing like crazy. Well, especially w- 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 when you got those great rockets and then you put it on a spawn point. I mean, it was so cheap; it, it was unbelievable. Um, I felt like in Metal Bar there wasn't enough movement, um, and, and, and that's what makes Battlefield great is because the battlefield moves, and and, and that's what yeah. I'm looking for in the next game. So, so I say buy it. How about you guys? I'm buying the Battlefield for sure. I already got a pre-order. <laughs> Yeah, I've already got a pre-order too. Very nice. I'm probably going to pre-order pretty soon. I mean, I, I can't wait. That that game is going to be something that I'll, I'll play for you know, for a really long time. And it, it just looks like a real game. And Dice knows what they're doing. Uh, they know yeah. that and, and that their job is to overtake the first-person shooter because Call yeah. of Duty has been lagging behind. And Call of Duty only cares about money right now. They're they don't care about their fan base. So that's. I mean, they good. haven't even. They even. They haven't even changed the engine since. And Black Ops is running on a updated World at War engine, and Modern Warfare Three is running on an updated MW Two engine. So they're working on an engine that's almost five years old now. Well, my problem with that is, is that Activision has the money to put money yeah. into World at War. I mean, World of Warcraft. Why can't they put it into? Call of Duty, which is their main money maker, and yeah. then now they want us to pay extra, like an, an extra fee to play that online. I, I say hell no, hell no, we won't go. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and Call of Duty Elite Battlefield already has a Call of Duty Elite. It's called you know your Battlefield stats. Yeah. So I mean, I don't understand why they're going to be charging a fee for this. Just, just it just shows me how greedy they are. Well, and. Yeah. 
getting back to Battlefield and something that and th that they can improve on, they can definitely improve on the uh, the upgrading. Uh, I felt like in in, in Battlefield and uh, Bad Company Two, it was so hard to know why why are 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 you upgrading? What's the point of it? Um, how, Zombie, did you have something to say about this? No. <laughs> oh, well, very nice. So I think we've touched on Battlefield, uh, which is I, I think it comes out November what. 12th? Uh, October 25th. October, actually. even better. So, and so that's a nice thing. We're right before Halloween. Yeah, beta, beta starts in September. Very nice. And, uh, so that, 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 that will be fun. So hopefully we can talk about that then. So now I want to get to Mass Effect 3 because this game is just gonna, uh, kick ass. I, I think it, it was the best game of E3. Uh, I saw game footage. I'm just like, wow, this is a video game. I, th I think that that was the best way to put it. Uh, so Brad, what do you think of, um, Mass Effect 3? It looks great. Um, uh, I'm really, I'm really excited about that new melee system. It looks really cool. Um, Little splinter looks, cell. Yeah, it looks, uh, it looks awesome. Uh, and uh, the, I just, I just want some more powers. The, uh, you know, the, the freezing power was awesome in Mass Effect Two. Like doing that. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. You, you put the, the the freeze bullets on, or and then you just freeze your enemy. That was yeah, fun. Yeah, I think cool. the characters is what makes Mass Effect Mass Effect. Shepard's character is very dynamic because it is an RPG, but it's also because uh, Bioware put the time and effort to make a really kick-ass character. Uh, mm -hmm. Garrus is like my favorite person, like favorite alien ever. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think he's, he's awesome. a badass. <laughs> so, so that's good. So, uh, uh, so do you guys think that in that in that, that Mass Effect Three will will up will live up to to the hype? Bioflare so far has done it's definitely a very good job. Uh, game the games are definitely a ten, you know, in, in terms of everything story, you know, and everything. I think they can work on the DLC though. I agree. The yeah, DLC yeah. It, it it costs a lot, and you only get four or five missions, and, and and that and that is something that and that they need to improve on. I think they need to improve on more more missions, more side missions, more missions that. And, and they have smaller purpose, but then also lead towards the the main goal. And apparently, it, it, Earth is being attacked, and, and and that's what Shepard is there to stop. And this is the last game of the series, which is sad, but it, it, it's probably a good thing. Um, so well, you can't go on like Halo. I mean, it, yeah, I know Halo needs to stop it. Seriously, I mean, th they should have stopped it at three, but then they did Halo Wars, which sucked. So then they came out with Reach, and then of course all everyone who loves Halo but then hates real first-person shooters went went for the game, and and then <laughs> and, and then IGN and Gamespot and all them gave gave it like a nine, even though it only deserved like a four or five, if that. Yeah. If it was just a ugh, what, what a. Oh, bad. and also four, five, and six have already been confirmed. So. I know it, yeah. it's like Avatar; they can't stop, but. Um, so and so that's a but but getting back to Mass Effect three, yeah. um, apparently the Reapers, which are the bad guys, um, they are um, even more kick ass than, than they were before, and yeah. C Cerberus, which was the company, which was the people who Shepard was work working for, and the Elusive Men, uh, portrayed by uh, Martin Sheen, who was awesome at doing that. Apparently yeah. Cerberus and the humans are going against each other, which you could see well, what and that that was going to happen. Right. But I'm going to be interested in who are the new characters. Yeah, me too. I mean, uh, Garrus is badass. The uh, new Krogan female that she looks very interesting. I'm wanting to know more about her. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't see a Krogan female. <laughs> they they all look, look like males and. I mean, from Rex in the first game to who was the guy in, in the second game? Uh, what was his name? Uh, I haven't played it in a while, but uh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, because but. he lives in a tank, and then and then you have to go. Who was the assassin? Well, what was his name? What was? Jesus, he? I, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, I don't. Uh, Frick, uh, Tanya. Wait, isn't there a girl called Tanya in there? No? Uh, there could be. One second. I'm looking at the characters right now because we don't even know the fucking characters. Um, you know, that's how great we are here at. So we got um, a Grunt. Grunt. That's who uh, um, yeah. is, is is the Krogan. And then the assassin is named Thane, the one who looks like a lizard. Yeah. I I thought he was a pretty cool character himself. He was interesting. 
like, he had, like, a complete backstory to him. And he was slowly dying, right? Yeah, he was slowly yeah. dying.